Hello there. Today I'm here to show you how to install Elden Ring Night Rain Seamless Co-op on the Steam Deck. Alright. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to Google and we are going to open up the search and we are going to search for Elden Ring Night Rain. Seamless co-op. Now, uh, one thing I recommend is that you have a keyboard and mouse. You don't need to have a keyboard and mouse to do this, but it's just a lot easier. So you go 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 on Nexus. You're going to need to sign in to download this, by the way. So make an account or sign in with your account. Go to files, and you go go to manual download. It will then download. It's going to say like. It's going to say, like, this is a suspicious file, perhaps, but it's not, so just download it. Once it's downloaded, it's going to be shoved in your downloads file. You're going to want to extract it by right-clicking, and then going to extract, and extract here, and delete. There we go. It's going to be there. Once it's extracted, you're going to want to go into the files. You're going to right left click hold select both these and you're going to copy them or cut them and once that's done you go back out right. you're going to want to go to steam <coughs> and you're going to want to go to uh, your library and you're going to want to search for Elden Ring. Once you've found it, you're going to want to go to your files, you know, manage this little cog, properties. You're going to want to go to installed files and browse. This will then show you uh, the, the game folder. Now, one thing you should do just to make the, your life simple is you're going to want to, you want to, go, to, you're going to, want to go here, just uh, to this little corner. You're going to right click. And you're going to add entry. And you're going to call this, uh, you know, whatever you want, but just make sure you know what it is. So, Elden Ring Night Rain. You're going to add that. It will just pop up here whenever you go into your files. So, you don't have to go looking for your files every time you want to, like, go into it, right? So, once, you, so once you've got the file, you go into this. You, you would paste these files in to the game folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to, but here they are here. Uh, the launcher, and then the co-op folder. So, yeah, once you're here, you, if you want to mess with the settings, like, you know, like, uh, certain things like house scanning, damage scanning, and posture scanning, you can go in here, and you can toggle mess with these if you really fancy it. These will only take effect when people are in your game. You, and once you've done that, you can save. If you don't want to mess with it, you don't have to. You just leave it as what it is if you want. But once you've done that, you want to go to the Night Rain Seamless Cup launcher. And you're going to want to right click. And you're going to want to add to Steam. All right? And then it will be in your Steam as a non Steam game. If that doesn't work, because sometimes it doesn't, you can go to Add Game. Browse, uh, add non Steam game. Browse. Then you want to go to, then you want to find your, uh, your Admin Night Rain files again. And you want to do it like that. That's only if it doesn't show up though, but it should show up. But if it doesn't, you just do it that way. Well, anyway, once you've added the file, you're going to search, uh, NR, and you'll find this. Your Night Rain Seamless Co-op Launcher. You can rename it if you want. But so when you try and launch it, it's not going to launch. It will just not open. So to open it, you want to go in, go into it, and you're going to want to go to compatibility, and you're going to want to force Proton to turn on. And you're going to and you can you can use uh I don't know what ones work and what ones don't work, but Proton Experimental works, and I could imagine. Proton like uh, some of the other ones work as well, but I use Proton Experimental and that works. Now, 
when you launch the game, you're gonna you're gonna have an issue where your control you you can't use your you know like your Steam Deck controls, which uh, is a problem. But there is a way to fix it, right? So what you want to do is I'm gonna leave a uh, a launch code option. So you you're gonna put a launch code in here, and this will turn your game controls on, right? It's just a bit of a nuisance, but you know it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, I will leave uh, that in the in the launch options for you, and you can just copy and paste it in there where I showed you, and then that will fix it. And uh, the information is in in the in the uh, Discord for Elden Ring Night Ring Sims Co-op if you really need it. As you can see, here is the code. And I'll leave it in the uh, a YouTube comment for you pinned. So anyway, enough of my uh, rambling. Uh, you're again going to want to, once you've done your stuff, you're going to want to launch the game. I have a bit of issue here. It's fucking... <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, launch it up. While I wait for this to load. <laughs> Sorry, music's too loud. But when you load in, as you saw, it will say this is the seamless co op mod. Uh, when you load in, you have to click OK to continue. If you do not see that, then it means that your mod that you ain't installed the mod right. It's also down there, Elden Ring Night Round Sims Cult. If you don't see this, it means you ain't you ain't done something right and you have to follow the steps again. So when you get in for the first time, you're gonna have to make a new character and you're gonna have to beat the tutorial. But once you beat the tutorial, uh you'll be in the uh you'll be in the hub area. Now unlike uh Night Rain, it's a bit different. Uh, in order to invite people, you go to the table, you go here, and you have to click this button. As you can see, you can have up to six people. You can go solo, you can, and then up to six. To invite people, you don't use a password anymore. You have to be friends with them on Steam. So once you uh, click this button, it will invite people. Uh, you have to have them on you as a friend on Steam, then boom, you're done. So yeah, that's how you play the mod. Once they're in, they'll be ringing around in the hub with you. And yeah, and start whenever you want. And, as you can see, I'm done. That is all that there is to it. I, uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you all. Uh, sorry for my uh, rambling, but I hope it helps. And also I may be doing some uh, of the, how to install Mod Engine 2 at some point. Uh, I mean Mod Engine 3, because some people are probably going to want that. And beyond that, I hope you're... Uh, you have a good time. Also, this does not work with the cracked version, and I will not support people trying to do that. So uh, don't ask, please. Beyond that, have a good time.